Okay, take two. Um, yeah, before basically I was going through, we got a new tra microwave oven transformer. We got a neon just to let us know when there's voltage taking place. Uh, we got a fan from a microwave. That magnetron's not doing anything, by the way. Just purely as a little convenience. Valve's nice and warm, ready to go. Playing around with the grid leak system, I've got an air-spaced variable, a rather large one. Going via some coaxial, one to the tray, which is at ground potential, and one in parallel with the grid leak network, which I've just roughly, roughly calculated and really guessed. Okay, feedback windings, we've got them got the uh, main winding and I believe the feedback let me just double check yeah that is the top one is the uh, main that's the feedback they're not movable yet but I plan to get some nylon spacers so they can move and a little top a little breakout point now they're not spectacular but let's uh, fire up the vaults on the uh, nice variac okay so already we can see the lamp, the incandescent light, and also the neon. We're about 60 volts. Nothing, nothing is taking place. Then all of a sudden, as soon as we approach, ooh, 65, 70, we get some little breakouts. Interesting to note that the... Uh, Also, the uh, plate does to be running a little hot, so um, I'm one one thing I wish to uh, add at some stage is a current meter. And uh, excuse the poor camera skills. Okay, let's just see what volt we can get to to actually sustain. That's at about 40 now. The light is still clearly glowing. Uh, just needed to wake it up a little bit. As soon as it uh, swamps the oscillation, let's turn it down some more, some more, and that's when it's okay. We're about there on the variac, so um, I think there's still a bit more tuning to do. But uh, stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching.